Hey guys, welcome back to our old farmhouse. On today's vlog, Amelia and I are out. We are getting our morning chores done before we have something really special to do. That's going on a daddy daughter date. So stay tuned. God, just a right. spider in there. Oh man. Alright, put the lid back you on. I see? I seen him. Did you see him, guys? I wonder how the spider got in there, Dad. Is that one good? Yeah, it's smelly. It has feathers in it. Oh man, so it's almost time to clean her out. Alright, come on. Wow. I didn't really feel that. But we're going to do soon. How are they doing? Good. Alright, go fill their water bottle up. Ow, don't bite me. Guys, I fill up the bottle every day for my rabbits. You should fill it up every day. Because you know why? It helps your rabbits grow. Oh. Talking about rabbits, they like to chew on me when I really stuck my finger on there. Plus, it's been very hot out this week, yep. so they're and going through a lot of extra water. Yep, and guys, if there's still water, like a little bit of water left, dump out the old water and put new water in it. Fresh, cold water. Oh, a little bit of water. A little bit there. there we go. And then I'll give you some of the Timothy hay. I need my wolf because I already have some, but we'll give you some more. I'll do the Timothy hay. Which they really, really like. They love Timothy hay. Oh, stupid girl. Good. Oh, you're my scoop. Did the Michael Walker? Now to make sure it's full. Every day. Yeah. Alright, start grabbing them and gently put them in. Okay, I'm gonna take them out.
gonna pick some tomatoes now. We have one right here, one right there, and then I have a few more. But I don't know where they are. Really, really. So let's get picking these tomatoes. So I'm gonna try to get this one, but right. I can't. Go ahead and just remember, grab it and just gently twist it. Let's get in the garden. Like this. Let's do this again. Twist. 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 I'm gonna get that out of there. Keep twisting it. Drop the tomato. All right, guys. Well, we got through our morning chores as quickly as possible. No, we didn't get everything done. We didn't get over to our composter. I did want to get that water down really well. Um, we're going to have a video coming out on that really shortly. Um, we didn't get a uh, new compost put down in our garden like I wanted to do. And we didn't get the, the chicken coop cleaned out quite like I wanted to do either. But we did get them fed. We made sure that they had water. We got our garden watered. We got the chicks moved to the outdoor tractor that we built for them. That's not exactly 100% done um, but it is really early for them to be getting out but of course our Michigan weather out here it's been about a hundred degrees out every day again so um, we did move them out about two weeks early we are only moving them out during the day and then we're bringing them back in at night um, so that's been <laughs> been some fun chores to, to add to our list um, yesterday we got everything mowed um, we got our fall garden beds fertilized yesterday so we're really happy about that uh, and uh, like I said, uh, Amelia, she's just really excited to get off to her daddy-daughter dance. So we're actually going out to a fancy lunch. Uh, she picked big boys. And then after that, soon we're going to come back. We are going to finish up some of our weekend projects. Then when our weekend projects are done, uh, uh, Nana and Grandpa Stan are coming over. We're going to have dinner for them for a kind of belated birthday for Nana. And then we're actually heading to the river. So stay tuned and we'll keep you guys posted on everything that we're doing. So, I am there right now cooking the food for us, so we're going to a good lunch today, so I hope you enjoyed the video.
Hey guys, welcome back. So Amelia and I, we just finished up our daddy-daughter uh, luncheon, and I have to say we were really disappointed in Big Boy. So uh, Big Boy's was our original plan. Uh, we got there, we waited in line for about 20 minutes behind this guy that was like, I wanna say mid 80s, and they would not seat anyone. And I know that they're doing the every other seating as part of the pandemic and to keep everyone safe and healthy, but that was not the case. I want to say I, I counted three rows of benches that were completely empty. So we ended up waiting in line for another 10 minutes after saying something. No one helped us, so we left. We went to Applebee's. We got in. We had a fantastic meal. We had our dessert, and thankfully, as we were there, uh, looking out the window, Family Farm and Home and across, it was across the street, and there was a bunch of tents and booths set up. So we decided to go over afterwards, check it out and uh unknowing to us it was a 4-h uh event going on where they were selling live animals and it was a craft show so amelia and i we spent the next i want to say probably hour and a half two hours walking around checking out all the animals they had turkeys pheasants quail um i don't know if i said rabbits already goats sheep all kinds of animals you name it they had it and a lot of them were very reasonably priced so after walking around amelia actually found a buck rabbit that she wanted um, we've played around with the idea of breeding them but we've never really made an official decision and uh, being that it was the end of the day it was so hot out and the lady that had them came from over an hour away she didn't want to take them back so uh, she offered it to Amelia for five dollars we ended up getting it it was pedigreed with all the paperwork um, it was not tattooed though uh, but that's fine uh, none of the girls that we have are and uh, we ended up uh, getting that and we got a crate for I think it was six or seven dollars. I, I can't remember now So uh, in total less than fifteen dollars for a rabbit and a crate the crate is a little bit old But we, we brought that home super excited for that um, But it's time to get back to our chores um, Once we're done with our evening chores, we'll have Amelia go off, uh, ahead and show off the the new rabbit It's got her cowgirl boots on. Or pants on. All right guys, so as you've seen in today's vlog, Amelia and I, we got most of our morning chores done. Not quite everything, but pretty much everything that had to be done before we left this morning for our daddy-daughter day. Uh, we went out for lunch, not exactly the place that we had planned on, but we had a lot of fun going. And if it wasn't for that, that change in our plans, we wouldn't have known about the 4-H gathering at our local family farm at home. So we, we got over there. Uh, I'll put some uh, of the pictures and video uh, in our vlog for tonight, but super excited. We got a new rabbit. Uh, Amelia met probably five or six people down there that she got business cards from. A lot of cool information. 
So that's rabbit's name is Oreo and Amelia is really interested in possibly breeding. So we're gonna talk about it, see if we can come up with a plan. Um, other than that though, we just got our evening chores done. Viv just got the chicks back into uh, the coop. That was something that um, I was hoping she'd remember to do before we got home because Chris and I had to run to the grocery store. But uh, <laughs> it was something she needed reminded about, but she got it all done on her own. She's been doing really great with that. Um, other than that, the only chores that we really didn't get done um, was we did want to clean out the coop today. Um, it was going to be a couple of days early, but I figured since it was the weekend, might as well get that done. Uh, we wanted to do a video on our compost, and actually I, I had some grass, and I was going to do a video on that, but you know, we'll wait off. We'll probably do that tomorrow. And then other than that, um, really everything else got done. So uh, we are averaging about two hours of chores a day on the weekends. That's not including any projects. Uh, and I, again, we got through those pretty quick today. It was super hot out. We didn't want to hold off uh, too long. Our portable chicken tractor that we built, that's doing great. It's not 100% done. Our chicks are too young to be staying in there overnight. So um, we did only have them in there during the day yesterday and today. Both days they've done great. And honestly, I think they're thriving in there because there's not the wood chips that they're throwing up in their food and in their water out here everything is so much fresher for them um, it's so much cleaner it's easier for us to spend the five minutes catching them in the evening so again super excited about, about that i really recommend anyone uh, to anyone to to do something like that and then uh, i did want to add that while we were at the 4-h gathering uh, there were people there that were selling live uh, turkeys full-grown ones and amelia and i were pretty excited like i said in previous vlogs that's our spring goal and there was turkeys they're selling for almost $200 a turkey so uh, it's something that certainly piqued Amelia's interest. She's uh, a little bit more thrilled about the opportunity to make money so um, it is something that again I'll put some of the video in the vlog that we took today at the 4-H 4-H uh, gathering but other than that uh, again really fun weekend we thank you guys for checking us out again if you like the vlog please subscribe. If it's something that you know someone might like, go ahead and share it. Um, we're always looking to gain more subscribers and more views, and hopefully the channel will continue to be a success. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and uh, have a good evening.